and what I would say, you know, just for, for anybody doing, you know, uh, doing composites in general, you know, there's, there's probably about, you know, five or six things that you want to deal with and that you want to think about to get a better composite. One of them, of course, is what we went over today is, you know, making sure that your light direction is correct. Uh, making sure that everything is is correct light wise um, after that making sure that your perspective is right so depending on the environment that you place them into you want to make sure that the set the, the subject that you're placing same perspective as the environment that you're placing them into um, exposure which you know is, is part of the light um, making sure that the colors match between the the darks and the I mean the background and the and the subject so I did see you know I was looking at your at your layers and it looks like you had um, a layer on there for uh, the color check. The color check layer um, right. is good. It's something that I use. Um, I would recommend that you use the uh, the color balance tool uh, when you're using that color check um, to you to match the the background color with the with the foreground color with your subject because um, that's that's going to be helpful for you. Um, and then lastly, what was it? The focal length. Um, something that people don't take into account is the focal length of your of your image. So if your background is shot at like a like a wide 35 mil or like a wide 17 millimeter, and you get it all up close on the model, and she was shot at 100 millimeters, there's something that kind of makes it look odd to the eye. So you want to think about all those things when you're when you're shooting.